Greetings and welcome to SmartWatchTicks.com. You guys have been asking for this, the ones who've been watching for quite a while, a Spoven watch in a square, apple-shaped format that you wear like a regular watch instead of the fitness bands and things that Spoven came out with originally. Now, we have showed you the SW11 round watch. This is the identical SW12 apple-shaped square watch. What are we talking about? We're talking about this from their uh, actual Spoven store. The manufacturer of this watch is selling this one. You can't find it on AliExpress or any place else right now. So head on over in the show notes. Got a link for you to pick this thing up. And if I can get you a coupon discount, I'll have it listed there as well. It is a sweet watch. As many of you know, if you've uh, watched the reviews on these Spoven watches, the SW12, it automatically monitors your heart rate, your blood pressure, heart rate variability in a really unique way, showing you a Lorenz scatter diagram in the morning. Every morning, you got blood oxygen and everything else. It'll do your sleep uh, stuff, and you can even set it up to automatically vibrate if it catches you holding your breath at night going into sleep apnea. Uh-huh, I'm serious, and it works. Wow, 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 incredible technology. You do an ECG test on this. You got uh, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, everything that we've been talking about. Few different sports in here. It mentions GPS, but not really. It's quasi, you'd have to work it through your phone. This is not a fitness watch per se. You have a little bit of tracking stuff you got going on there, but this is a super duper health watch. These are the overall parameters. I'll let you skim those rather than reading them all out. Out, and then let's dive into it. Uh, I've already charged it and used it. Let's look at it. We have a plate back here. Now, usually you have two in the back and one on the side, but they've perfected the technology so that you can get by with only two. has to do with neutralizing the grounding of your body, picking up electromagnetic waves in your environment. But if you go to scholar.google.com and search around on ECG and ECG plus PPG and stuff like that, you'll learn about the single lead ECG technology. And this one's got it. Really cool. You got diode arrays here, green ones, red ones, sensors and everything. One button, it turns, but it doesn't do anything. And uh, what looks like the pill button is actually the ECG lead on here. Removable TPU type bands. Excellent, and it's a really good quality watch. When you pop out the container, you have a simple two-pin uh, magnetic charger that you attach like that, charge it up, gets pretty darn good battery life as well, and then of course it comes with a, a manual talking about ECG, electrocardiogram or EKG sometimes in Europe, PPG, I won't even try to pronounce, but that's the green or red light in the back that, that sends the signal and looks for the change in your blood, in your capillaries. And SpO2 is basically blood oxygen, the amount of oxygen in your blood. Got a colorful uh, little brochure, tells you a little bit about the technology in here, the guidance on wearing it, a little bit high on your wrist to make sure you get it right some of the pictures of the different faces that you'll see. Now, you're going to find out in just a minute, when you're doing ECG on the watch, you're getting a heart rate reading like that, uh, but it's using the electrical signal, as a, there it is, as opposed to the um, optical uh, technique. And uh, we're going to have a special treat and show you that clip from an earlier review of the SW11. So you can kind of get a feel for the round version of this watch uh, while you're watching the one on the square. But I really encourage you to watch both reviews, this one on the 12 and the uh, SW11 review too. The other side is all in Chinese. Okay, going to clear this out and we'll take a look at the watch. Basic, simple operation. You have one button. We press it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, vibrates, and it comes up to the first watch face. Now, this is laid out differently than a lot of the watches we've seen on this channel before. Usually you slide up and down, you get into technical stuff, and you slide left and right, and you get into little uh, screens, right? And to change the watch faces, you have to press and hold. Not so here. We go through all the watch faces by sliding up or down. It's a loop 
It goes in a circle so you can quickly see full screen what all the watch faces look like and decide which one is right for you. I kind of like this blue one, especially at night, but you've got other ones that have data on here and uh, it's tracking all of that stuff for you. So that's how you change watch faces. Well, if you go to the right, you're going to get into, let's swipe to the left, but the panel goes to the right. I always get them backwards. There's your step count, distance traveled, calories burned. Here's last night's sleep information broken down into deep and light, but you get much more detail in the app. There's the power off button, but you can press and hold to turn it off if you want to. And then you get into the app drawer and finally back to the watch faces. So you can get to the apps quickly by going this way. Here they are. You got your basic sports stuff, outdoor, indoor, walking, running, no GPS on this one. Might tie into GPS in your phone through the app if you carry your phone with you and, and, uh, and do it. Uh, hiking, stair stepper, elliptical, no swimming. We're not really looking at waterproof, heavy duty waterproof on this one. Then we go into ECG, heart rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen. Now, I'm going to show you as we start here, the ECG, it says beats per minute. And basically, here's what's going on as explained on the uh, round uh, SW11 watch. You touch the side here with a semi-wet finger and make sure the back of the watch is touching your skin. It's going to give you a heart rate, uh, beats per minute. And it's really just like if you were taking your pulse or heart rate using the optical technique you know, when it just says heart rate. But this one is actually using the ECG technology, which tends to be more accurate because it's working off of the actual signal pulse, the electrical signal of your heart, not trying to interpret the oozing blood through your capillaries and estimate it from there. So this ECG reading is really a ECG generated heart rate reading. I'm not recording a chart right now that will be transferred later to the app. It's not doing that. Neither did the band, it turns out, and neither does the new band or the old band. They're all simply uh, taking a uh, heart rate for you using the ECG technology. And you go to heart rate, now you're going to get the same thing. Got my here on there. With the green diodes, I don't need to touch the buttons or anything because it's using the capillaries in there and it's going to give me a heart rate reading. Same big display, generally about the right reading, but if you really, really need accuracy in your heart rate, if you've been working out a lot, you're trying to time your recovery rate, that kind of stuff, I'd suggest you do the ECG version of heart rate on this one instead. Um, blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, using the red, uh, the green diode technology as before. You'll just see numbers when it comes up. Not sure about the accuracy. That needs to be checked by every person individually. And then blood oxygen is right here. And that, of course, is using the red and the infrared diode down there. And that'll give you a percentage generally between 95 and 100. Uh, but it could be uh, lower, you know, when uh, you go into a sleep apnea event or something like that. So the functions are exactly the same on the square watch. Here we're doing the ECG. It's only going to give us heart rate. It goes for a nice long, 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 long time, but then it just says it's done taking the, the reading. There's no transferable ECG in this one. When you get out of here, go into heart rate, you get the same kind of screen, blood pressure, same kind of screen. And as we saw on the round one, blood oxygen actually, oh, I don't need to touch the side, actually uses the red diode instead of the green ones. So we've got the exact same electronics in this one as we have in the round one. Stopwatch looks like this. You can start it here. You cannot exit it if you try to, and you go back into it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to exit it again. Uh, usually they stop and then you have to uh, restart them. They either freeze and give you the reading when you left it or they go back to zero. But uh, let's see. It's still running. All right. Well, you can leave the stopwatch and come back here. Change watch faces if you want to. Uh, but if you go left or right, you're going back into the stopwatch. So that's the thing. It's running in the background, but you can switch to the time. Can't do anything else, though. Interesting. Did not realize that. Okay, countdown timer, similar type of thing. You set how much you want, and it'll count down and vibrate when it's done. Mm -hmm. And 
sports we looked at, ECG, heart rate, blood pressure, stopwatch countdown, information is basically messages pushed from your phone if you have any when you're tethered, blood oxygen, we looked at that. Whoops. Notice it loops around this way too. You have a simple music player where you can control the music, no speaker in this one, so the sound will come out of your phone, but you do have the ability to go forward and back, pause and play uh, your overall music. Find your phone, tap that, and it'll make your phone ring, and then overall settings, and this is really sophisticated. You'll see this in more detail in the SW11, but you have basic information where you can turn on or off all of these different things from the watch if you want notifications pushed to your phone uh, from your phone to the watch. You can do this on the watch. Usually you have to do it from the phone. Oh, I don't want to select other. That's everything else that you have that's set up for pushing uh, from your phone uh, over here. So real, real uh, sophisticated capabilities there. You have brightness. We're actually on the lowest level here. You can crank it way up. It'll be super bright outside and I'm having trouble leaving it. Auto lock is the timeout. You can go down as low as three seconds and go up way high if you want to. I'm set for 15 seconds here. And then you have these different switches. This is important. If you want to do things like sedentary reminder, twist your wrist to see the time. Here's your heart rate monitoring continuous and um, your uh, reminder if you go too high if you're working out here's blood oxygen monitoring and alarm and uh, blood pressure uh, as well and those are the things that are available in settings and once you leave settings um, you're back here and then of course you can basically come back to your watch faces and switch them at will a lot of this goes on in the uh, app now we've gone really detail into the H-Band app, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of what this one looks like in terms of the data it produces over the last couple of days. Here we are in the Google Play Store, searched for H-Band. You'll notice there's two, H-Band and H-Band 2.0. This and all these watches that work with H-Band will work with either one. So it's really cool. You can have two different devices that you wear, both of which tether to H-Band app. One can be connected to the H-Band. The other can be connected to the H-Band too. Looks like it needs an update. I'll be right back after we get that set because I actually have H-Band set up with data from this watch. Here we go, open into it. Now, it's already been set up and data's been transferred and updated. It's just like on the fly. There's a lot between that hitting that button and getting to this point where you set up uh, an, app, uh, an account and you log in and all of that. But we're not covering that. We're covering the data. And uh, here we go. We've got several different uh, tabs or panels in here. This is first the step count information. You can't go into here because it's right down here in sport. Here you have all of the different steps throughout the day, every half hour, and it's giving you the half hour summaries of all of that. Sleep data is right here, and this is broken down into your um, rim and light and deep sleep, and it gives you some more information here. This is last night, and here is the night before. Okay, a little bit more in each area, uh, and this was kind of chopped up. I'm not sure why it does that, but that's kind of unique to this H-Band, H-Band 2 app series. Here's our continuous heart rate, and what I love about this is it's also showing your activity stuff. These spikes in white are when I get up and I walk every hour. I'm trying to make sure I do that, get at least 250 steps per hour, my uh, uh, Fitbit tells me if I haven't and tells me when I've completed it. So you're seeing that happening and you're seeing my overall heart rate going on and you're seeing the zones that I'm in. So throughout the day, every day, and here's yesterday in here, and when you take it off, it doesn't record anything. It just connects to the next one. Really, really well done. Very good um, way of producing the uh, heart stuff. Here's your heart rate details. Look at this, every minute, okay, in this 15 minute period, these are the heart rate readings per minute. Now, I'm not sure why we only have two there. It might be because I was moving and it couldn't get one and it doesn't wanna make it an error. 
But wow, guys, wow, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm supposed to only give an overview, but I just get, I love all this stuff. This is one of the best overall apps, the uh, H-band one. Here's blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, taken every five minutes, and you see it on the chart. That's in there. ECG will come back to blood oxygen now. Really, really good. It's giving you the reading. There's 100% all night long from midnight to 7 a.m. and it's doing all of this while you're sleeping to give you baseline information to help compute all of these different things. Now I don't have an apnea event either last night or the night before to show you but in the review of the SW11 I did and you'll see how it shows up on the chart you'll see where it shows up here and I felt it uh, I got a vibration because I have that turned on way down here in hypoxia and arousal it will if you get hypoxia it will arouse you with a vibration to let you know and hopefully you can come out of it quickly not have any brain fatigue as a result you got respiratory rate blood oxygen concentration man there's a lot of data in here and that's just on the blood oxygen then you get into heart rate variability and that i got made a print out here of their chart Here's the ECG it was talking about, and this is what happens when you compare a heart rate variability reading with the one just before it, and you put it on an XY plot, and you come up with a, a, a shape, and this shape gives you an overall clear picture of your heart health while you're sleeping in a calm condition and this is what it looks like this one happens to be pretty close to the comet which is ideal rocket goes the other way like it's kind of going down instead of up um, that's the chart here's the overall readings throughout the night there's yesterday you see it just jumped a little bit um, heart health index is on there and then these are the actual uh, readings of your heart rate variability and there's this whole reference thing. It says I need to uh, have a little bit low in the sudden change of heart rate for whatever reason. And if I go back to the night before, I don't have that. I had five stars in all of them. So lots and lots of detail you can get on it. Guys, this almost makes up for the fact that you can't see an uh, ECG on the watch or take one remotely and then transfer it over to the phone later. That happens on other watches that use the Smart Health app. You see where we're going? You're going to kind of need two of them. You want to sleep with this one and wear it occasionally, and you may want to get a different one. Um, we'll try to do a comparison soon that uh, will produce ECG charts a little bit more on the fly and a little bit more detail in an artificial intelligence interpretation of it. Uh, but that's not today, and that's not here. This is a basically what these H-band related devices will do, the SW12 in particular. You hit more, this is where you can take live readings of heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, or an ECG. And this is typically how you do the ECG. We've showed you that before. You start it out, you touch the button on the side, that kicks in the testing. It's got a delay of about five seconds or so, and then it kicks in and it'll show you the chart right there live. Uh, if you mess it up and wiggle around, of course, it's not going to be clean. It won't show up for about five seconds, but there it is. And if you mess it up completely, it's just going to cancel out. You see it lost all of its data here, and it'll eventually tell you that it fell off the leads and you got to start all over again. More detail in the SW11 and all the other Spoven devices where we've done ECG reading. Check those reviews out. I'm going to wrap it up here because I want to uh, get you guys out so that you can head on over and pick this puppy up. Your choice if you want a round watch, SW11. If you want this apple size and shape one, really looks a lot like the apple, even with the round button and the pill button. Um, it's here, the SW12, and it's decent price, guys. $57 without any discount is really amazing for all the technology that's here. So head on over if you're interested. If you really like this technology, I've got an entire playlist. Go to smartwatchticks.com, look in the playlist, and look for the playlist on sleep apnea. Those are the watches and bands that will actually help you out if you have sleep apnea condition or hold your breath or want a deeper evaluation of your blood oxygen. These are all in there. All the Spoven ones are in there. 
plus more. We got it all here for you. I hope you like what we're doing. Give us thumbs up on the videos. It helps get distribution globally so more people can find out about uh, all these things. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, we're also over on TikTok. The little short one minute, uh, two minute, three minute maximum. We're putting them over there too. So tell your TikTok friends to look for at SmartwatchTicks.